It's been a year. It has been a year. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? How y'all living? It's Shelly TV on YouTube. Oh. oh my God. Y'all, it's been a year. So much has happened. I'm just about to, I'm, I'm gonna give you a little life update before the story. Give y'all a little life update before the story time for me. So boom. <laughs> how y'all feeling? How y'all doing? How y'all living? Welcome back to Shelly TV on YouTube. Period. It has been forever. I feel like I really don't even know how to. I'm looking at the viewfinder, not looking at the camera. Like we start from the beginning, honey. A lot of things have happened. One of them, I got my own salon suite. Um, I left the job that I was at, got my own salon suite. And then now I'm working somewhere else as well. So I'm doing my business and I'm working. Girl is single. Um, what else? <laughs> it has just been a whole lot, a whole lot of, but I'm so happy to be back. Oh, yeah. This story time. <sighs> mm. It's a little, mm, little messy, little messy because men are trash, which we know. But yeah, I'm excited to be back. And let's get right on into the story time. I was in college at this time. It was my sophomore year. I was living in a sweet style dorm, right? Keep all these little things in mind while I'm telling y'all so y'all can get the tea, okay? I was living in a sweet style dorm. So it was two rooms, two rooms, then a living, like a common area in the middle, right? Okay, so we're gonna start from the beginning for me. So shout out to my girl Jamila. I don't know exactly how they met um, verbatim, but basically she met the guy that is my now ex. We gonna call him. We gonna call him light skin, okay? <laughs> we gonna call him light skin, okay? Cause he was light skin. So she met light skin, right? And they used to come and hang out in the common area. So one day I think I came back from work or something and I seen him in a common area and I looked and I just proceeded to my room like a baddie, like a boss. Yeah, we don't get too much. It was a, <laughs> it was a glance and move. Okay, cause we glance and move, we don't stare. Okay, glance and move, went to my room. I think I told her that I thought he was cute, something around them lines and she, you know, word got back to him that I liked him or whatever, boom, boom, pow. He comes to my room, y'all, bonnet, on t-shirt on i'm laying in my bed i turn and this fine man is walking up to me and i'm like girl i look crazy right now anyway more little story we start talking that's not my man okay cool during this time you know we was going through a little rough patch something had happened beforehand but we were talking not the day before but the day prior so there was a day of like little minimal communication but communication and then it was the day of that i'm gonna talk to y'all about we were having spring weekend at my school a lot of colleges do it it's like a end of the year thing where usually an artist comes and performs there's activities there's fairs stuff like that so my school a boogie i think was it that year yeah a boogie had came and performed but it wasn't that night right so we got word that there was like zip lining and rock climbing and all this extra fun stuff. So me, I remember it was me, Hayden, another girl. I'm gonna say people's names here, like real names. So if you're watching this, if you're watching this and you know it's you, hey, say what's up in the comments, okay? I remember it being me, Hayden, Atira. Atira's boyfriend at the time, she's now engaged. Congratulations. It's not to him, but congratulations. Um, 
yeah another girl it was just like a little group of us okay it was a little group of us we're getting ourselves together we're going to the fair right and i'm gonna add some clips here because i still have them from on my snapchat i was zip lining i was looking real cute with my little fashion over two-tone jeans and my blue top and my hair my wig it was given well at the time i thought it was given <laughs> but it was given for the time okay but all this in my head is i ain't heard from my man all day i barely heard from him yesterday mind you we was going through a little something so that's not you know that's not nothing to be upset about but today calling him no answer texting him no answer that don't never happen i'm having fun but i'm thinking these things okay cool so now we at the fair we zip lining we lit a a a a boom boom keep in mind remember i told y'all keep in mind all these little things my dorm was here his house was here like he literally lived right down the block i could peek my head out of my dorm and see his house you feel me like it was like perfect for two people that want to be with each other y'all we basically lived together basically my dorm is here like i said his house is here so we had to cross the street right directly in the middle we're now done zip lining and everything like that and for some reason we had to go back to i don't know if it was my room but we was going back to the dorms right so we're, we're crossing the street because we have the right of way keep in mind like i told you dorm his house we crossing directly in the middle to go this way uh, we have the right of way right a car pulls up okay a car pulls up it is the only car at this red light because remember we have the right away it was like god just wanted me to see he just wanted me to see okay the car pull up and i'm not who stares in people's cars like you can see directly through the car there was no tents but who stares and i don't stare in people's car i look straight you know but like i'm telling you the way it happened i feel like god just wanted me to see it like so i'm walking i'm walking i'm looking at my friends we talking about blah 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 and i look in the car briefly i look back he's sitting in the car with a girl bro he's sitting in the car with a girl and i could just feel the anger boiling and boiling so as he's sitting there he's sitting there i'm crossing the street and i'm like then i see the girl and i'm like when i tell you it's not good to have regrets in life but not going up to this car and being like who the is you is one of my biggest regrets like i feel like if i would have done that i would have known what was going on for real because he loved to make it feel like i was always the one in the wrong and he never did nothing wrong and that's a gemini for you child right now going up to that car because it was not giving what it's supposed to give especially since you did not speak to me all day so anyway we back to the scene right he's sitting there him eyes and my eyes connect we make four and i'm staring like no no i cross the street he drives off right i don't think hayden peeped nobody peeped but a tear repeats what happened when he passes right guess who phone starts to go off guess who phone starts to go off light skin light skin light skin light skin calling texting light skin light skin light skin light he's blowing up my phone bro he's blowing up my phone and i'm not picking up shit I'm not picking up nothing because the nerve of you, you didn't speak to me all day, but then I see you in a car with a pissed. I honestly seen red, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And the first thing that came to my head was go to his house, shut up, tell his mother, go to his house, shut up, tell his mother, go to his house, shut up. I seen red. I was just beaming past. I remember getting past the McDonald's and almost in front of his house. But it's like his house was like one of them luxury buildings so you really could not get in without um like a key or some shit like that or he would have to buzz you in so i don't really know where i thought i was gonna go literally just seeing red like i'm gonna go mess him up i'm gonna go tell his mother i'm gonna go i'm gonna go do something i'm gonna go do something i remember a terror being like calm down calm down calm down like she just her talking to me that's all i remember just like calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Mind you, he's blowing up my phone while she's talking to me. And at this time, nobody liked him. Cause they already knew we done been through we already done been through bare stuff. And everybody was like, leave him alone, you know. But I was 
I was one of them, them friends that would annoy your ass with my problems and then be back with them the next day, honey. We basically live together if we really want to talk about it. So, <laughs> my friends was fed up with me. Anyway, push comes to shove, she calms me down. I really don't remember what we did up until I got this phone call from my sweet mate. Because remember I told y'all, it's two, well four rooms and then a living area. My sweet mate Kiara had called me, right? But before that, I really don't remember what happened because I remember I did not... I remember stressing like I do not want to just go there because he's there. She had contacted me. She had texted me like, um, light skin is here. I was about to say his name. Light skin is here. Like, and at this time we were so heavily involved that he really wasn't coming off the strength of Jamila. They're not, not to say that they got beef or nothing because they don't, but you feel me? We was rocking with each other. So whenever he was there, he was there for me. He contacted me and she's like, yeah, he's here. Like he looks upset. Like what's going on? I'm like, girl, I don't know. Like I remember just being like, I'm not coming right now. I'm not stopping what I'm doing because he wants to decide he wants to speak to me now after he done not spoken to me for a day ignored me but he was with some girl no I'm not stopping what I'm doing because you want to now speak if I thought I caught you no we don't remember what happened between a terror calming me down and me actually going to <laughs> my suite because I was so pissed anyway she texts me I end up going right like I told y'all, remember I said, pay attention. A living space, like a living room area, and then there's our rooms. So I walk in, and he's like standing in the living room space. We had a table and some chairs and stuff like that, so he was standing behind the table. Pretty much the first place that I seen him, but he was sitting down the first the first time. He was standing in the, in the common area. So... I remember just looking at him because you got to walk straight and then go to the room. So I remember just looking at him and not saying nothing. Going straight to my room. Pretty much like the first time I seen him. Um, but this time I was pissed. So I get to my room. He follows behind me. He locks the door. He's on some, why you didn't pick up the phone? I'm trying to talk to you. Let me explain. Nah, nah, nah. And I'm standing there like. I don't want to hear it. You're caught. 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 I don't want to hear it. So he's going off, going off. Yeah. This is the explanation. We was hanging out. That's my friend. And I was driving. I said, who car was it? I was driving her grandfather car. Her grandfather car. He was driving her grandfather car. It was giving me very much date night. Like she was sitting propped up in the front and he was like, it was giving me a Ciara video, like, yeah, I'm with my boo, period. Like, it gave me 90s lovebirds. Like, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, that's my friend. That's my friend. This man tried to flip it on me. Like, why I didn't pick up the phone? Why I haven't spoke to him? I just caught you. and you about to flip this on me? Gem like I said, a Gemini for you. Basically, you're going to go tell me, yeah, that was just my friend. It's nothing. Blah, blah, blah. And my stupid ass, like I told y'all, I was one of them girls that was... I'm a, I'm a, I was a, I'm a stick beside him, girl. Okay, I was. I was dumb and I was a, I'm a stick beside him, girl. And even after all that, even after I done caught him in the car and I was in rage and I made a whole scene outside, I still got back with him, y'all. Like, my friends had all rights <laughs> to be pissed at me because it was crazy. So, even after all that, we still were together and then we broke up, obviously. But, you know what's crazy? We actually caught up a couple months ago. Um, we don't talk no more, but, you know. We talked about the situation and he told me that the girl liked him. But they wasn't talking at the time or whatever. I don't believe it. <laughs> I believe the girl liked him and he liked her and they was out parlaying and I caught their ass in the car. That's what it's giving. He on some years. She was fighting females for me. She was fighting people. Because she liked you. She wanted you. And she knew about me. Those be the ones. It be y'all. That's not okay. That That's not okay. But you feel me? You can't wreck no home that a man don't want wrecked. So you can't entirely be mad at the woman. But if the woman know about you, she the problem too. Period. So saying all that to say, I still got back with him, y'all. We separated. It's been a couple years now. But live life with no regrets okay one thing about me if there was one situation that i could go back to and redo it would be that one because i feel like if i would have went to the side and been like who are you 
she would have been like, I'm his girl, what you mean? And I would have been like, I'm his girl, what you mean? And we would have had to fight. You feel me? Him though, not her. Well, maybe her if she knew about me. When you see something, say something, period. Because one thing about me, that situation will always irk me. Because I feel like if I would have done it, I would have known what was going on. You feel me? But yeah, y'all. That's the story time of the time. I caught my man. I caught light skin. And a car with a girl. And he came to my crib. And then try to flip it on me. What? But I thank y'all so much for watching this video. Forgive me for my clapping and my hand movements. I know that's how I am. That's how I talk. That's how I get. Okay. Forgive me for my tardiness. My year of tardiness. I promise y'all 2022 is giving comeback. I'm not playing with y'all. Okay. I'm not playing with y'all. Because I want to reach 1K subbies. I want to get my, you know, my views up. I want to do this because I know I can do this. I have the personality, the talent for it. Okay. I know I can do it. So, hopefully y'all stick around for the ride. Follow me on all socials. When you see a man in a car with a girl, make sure you go up to the car and check them. Don't be like me, okay? Don't be like me and let things just walk past you. Make sure you check them, okay? Follow me on all socials. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Purr! Back in all you want me <laughs> Are you from New York even? Do you own a big black puffer jacket even? Come on the Rennes. Come on the Rennes. Come on the Rennes. Go Lucy. Boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. I'm throwing tomatoes. I'm throwing tomatoes at myself for not posting in a year. Tomato, 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 tomato.